Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olga and today I'm bringing you a huge charity shop haul. I've got um, autumn beads, home decor, lots of Christmas stuff and uh, I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, I'm so happy to see you and I hope you will join my little family by the end of this video if you like it. And yeah, if you want to see what I've got, keep on watching and don't forget to go and grab yourself your big mug of tea because you will need it. And this one is, this one became my favorite mug for tea. I actually have coffee in. It's got a beautiful B and it says beautiful and this was from b and I think $2.99 Yeah, it's something around that um, Yeah, let's get started Okay, so first shop I went in was St. Mary's Hospice Birmingham St. Mary's Hospice and I was looking for um, wooden frames because I'm going to decorate my house for autumn and uh, I wanted to put the prints up that I ordered. If you want to see some of the nice um, autumn prints that I ordered online, um, make sure you follow me. I will uh, make um, decorate with me video very soon. And from there I picked up this frame and this is actually real wood which I love and I was looking for something which is light wood. I can't find anything in the shops that I like and I may DIY some of my frames that I have already. Um, I'm not sure but yeah this was £1.50 and it's, this is real glass so yeah it looks very good. It looks like it has been used but I will hang it up on the wall and I will remove this bit here. I was very happy to find this. I was hoping to find like big um, frames as well but unfortunately I didn't. Then I went into Oxfam and I looked around and found this. <laughs> I go a little obsession with uh, mugs at the moment. I don't know why, probably because I'm watching too much um, YouTube. And um, yeah. This, I don't know, it says gift aid. It was 149 and it got, it's got the grumpy on and it says Walt Disney world i guess this was bought from a disney shop and usually stuff in the disney shops are very expensive this is also red inside i thought this was i don't know it screamed christmas to me even if it's nothing christmasy in it it but snow white again makes you think winter so i don't know i didn't want to leave this there it's a very big size it's a very big mug and very beautiful and this will be my perfect morning mug because uh, sometimes when I don't sleep in the night I am grumpy and um, yeah I think my husband will agree with that. Yeah, This was 149 only, leave there. From there I also picked up this set of cookie cutters and these are very beautiful and super detailed they are three different sizes and they were only 49 pence i thought this was a bargain i don't know where this is originally from it says diagostini uk made in china looks like this and um we are gonna have lots of fun baking cookies and making cake decorations with this one as well and because i am going to decorate my house in um, nutcracker theme this year i found this this is the nutcracker book and is so beautiful it's got the whole story in it i mean and looks like it's an old book but hasn't been read 
it probably stayed in someone's library for quite a while. This was $1.99 and what a steal for such a beautiful book and such a lovely story. Um, does it have, yeah, it's got nice illustrations inside as well. I don't think my girls will stay through the whole story, but whenever they grow a little bit bigger, we can read this together and it will make a good addition to my Christmas decorations. Then, next I went to Heart Foundation. Yeah, I think it's called Heart Foundation. And I picked up the most beautiful vase that looks like this. It's metal vase, if you can hear that. And this basically is never gonna die <laughs> because it's metal. This was only $3.99 and I'm thinking of um, filling it with dry grass for a nice autumn centerpiece and um, yeah this looks like this and I was very happy to see it I actually grabbed it and then it came a lady and asked me oh are you going to buy that I'm like yeah and I go I really really want it that will make a good addition to my living room I'm like yeah I'm sorry sold I don't know why people think that if they are telling you they like something, do they think you're just gonna hand it to them? I don't know. Man, from, uh, uh, what was this? PDSA shop, I got two bits. Another mug. This is completely new and it says areas. I am Arias. I was born in April. It was £2.99. Yeah, it's a new mug. And in front it says Brave, Bold and Full of Beans. Arias leads where other follows. Um, so yeah, it looks like this. Let me just unpack it. I need to declutter my mug. Uh, cupboard. This is very well packed. Okay, let's we'll take it out. No, there's nothing else. So yeah, this nice cute mug. It's got writing on the back as well and pink stars. I love, love, love this one. Another addition to my mug cupboard. From there as well, I got this very lovely cross body bag and it looks like it hasn't been used because the strap is in excellent condition. It's basically new. I'm sure this hasn't been used. Uh, maybe someone just bought it and then never used it. And opens and it's got two pockets and it's got also a zip pocket in here, which I love. This was only £3.99 and I thought it was a steal. This will go very nicely with all my autumn outfits and uh, the strap is also adjustable. I mean, I just couldn't leave it there. I love it so much and it was a steal for this price because you can't even get anything like this from Primark. And the quality, it looks very, very high quality. And um, yeah, this is how it looks like. And I just love it. It's matching my lipstick today. Very autumn-y. Because we all love autumn on this channel. Next, from Cancer Research, for £3.50, I picked up a beautiful jumper. It looks like this and I love the neckline and it comes in the bottom of the sleeves. Yeah, so it looks like this is, do you call it salt and pepper color? Something like that. It's quite 
long it says uh, extra small but this is definitely not an extra small and this is wool they cut out the label because i probably this uh, was worn by somebody who doesn't like label filling the labels inside and it's been cut but judging by the fact that it's a little bit spiky which i don't mind i'm fine with it it's very very soft and it's going to keep me warm and um, this is from more hairy wool blend i don't know if you can read it and ah it's actually h&m <laughs> i didn't see that it's from h&m and it says wool blend so i'm sure there is wool inside here and this is going to be so warm and 3 dollars I just couldn't resist. It's a lovely addition to my jumper. A wardrobe section. Next, uh, the biggest shop of Christmas beads I've done. It was from Sue Rider. Sue Rider? Yeah. First, I'm going to show you what I got for my little girls and I think this is a steel and it's definitely a bargain is this ginormous um, Winnie the Pooh sleigh with um, Tonky, Tigra and Winnie the Pooh and this was... how much was it? Uh, ah, this was only four pounds and I will put this aside for Christmas, obviously, and it looks like it has not been used at all, it just stayed in the box, I mean, it's got the original box, and look how beautiful is this, um, uh, it's, it's got like a switch of on and off, and I guess I need to put batteries on the back, it says it needs four AA batteries, I'm not sure what they do or if they sing i hope hope so but yeah this is new and has not been used and um let's see it says press and hold demo mode i can hear something but uh, i think it needs batteries and this is so beautiful I can't believe this is a definitely a steel look at the ER is so cute it's got reindeer horns on oh my goodness my girls will love this so much and this was only four pounds I can't believe I'm sure this one is very expensive because it's a giant Disney toy and it's also actually very heavy this is gonna go in the attic before any of my girls sees them. Next, I got a nice Christmas sign. Oh, everything got tangled in here, like as per usual. How, how is this? Just give me a moment. Uh, yeah, front, yep. And I think somewhere in the box should be, yeah, it's here. There is the missing star from here. Uh, so I think I just need to add a little bit of glue. So this is how it looks like. This was three pounds and um, it's got nice clips i'm not sure what you put maybe to display christmas cards maybe some maybe i think i'm just gonna put it on the door and uh, maybe put some snowflakes in here i'm not sure but this was three pounds and it's very beautifully made it doesn't have any brand aid on or anything well, i thought it was cute and they had to come home with me because I just could not resist. Next, this is very well packed. Oh, again, because I'm doing the nutcracker, 
theme this says French cavalry officer and it's a porcelain uh, figurine is very beautiful this was one pound 25 looks like this he's very cute he's got blush and uh, red lips okay so I think I'll just put him back in the paper next uh, this is a Christmas part, but the bottom looks like this. And uh, let me just get the cup. Load the papers. How cute is this? My camera decided to cut off, but yeah, I was saying how cute is this? It's super cute. Like this for your tea. Uh, if someone is coming over for a tea, I'm just gonna make it in my little teapot. And oh, this is so gorgeous! And it will definitely stay on display in my kitchen, it will make a great addition to my kitchen Christmas decoration. And this was two pound fifty and the make is the village teapot collectible collectibles uh hand painted fine ceramic winter cottage teapot design by auntie rowe i don't know if this maybe is a collectible i'm not sure but yeah it was two pound fifty and uh, it was too cute to leave it there. They had a lot of Christmas beads, but <sighs> probably next time I'll pick some more. But I got this. And this concludes the video of today. Yeah, is this everything? Yeah, that's everything I got from the charity shops today and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one i'm sure i'm gonna visit the charity shops later on this season to see what other christmas bits we are gonna have and um, yeah i hope to see you next time love you leave you bye now i've got to sort all of this out oh switch up Ugh. Thank you.